Okay, hello. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed. It's been a while since I played it, so I might be forgetting the games, or the moves. <laughs> um, yep, we're replaying. We're on Segment 3, um, the first mission of Segment 3. There's only two missions in Segment 3, so we should be all good. Um, yep, probably going to be jumping between uh, this game and... Um, Flipping Death, which I just got. Probably do an active commentary so people don't look at it and say, What is he doing? And I can say, I have no idea what I'm doing. Regardless, here we are in Whitechapel. Let us uh, proceed with the game. So many people all at once. The churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Jacob, so, let's see. First off, I have no idea what a dipper actually is. What Does anybody here know what a filthy dipper is? And I am, like, way behind this kid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might actually just already lose the game. I'm so far behind him. Find your little mobsman. Ah, there we go. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. <gasps> Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. So yeah, I, I, I like how she categorizes his uh, fighting people in the street as tourism. <laughs> uh, it's always fun. And how she pretty much waits for me to uh, get ahead of her right there. I, I, I think it's pretty much a given that I am not as skillful or as good <laughs> at this game anymore. I just need to remember where all the buttons go. was marked on Father's map? Two assassins, equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed, to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starik sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm. But fair. Huh. We'll have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. <laughs> we'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Uh, that was always one of the uh, better <laughs> dialogue options. Well, not even it's not even an option. It's better dialogues. <laughs> Just, you know, it, it kind of illustrates the difference between uh, Evie and Jacob. Can't I claim this thing? Nope. nope, apparently not. Okay. Namely that... Yeah. 
Jacob has ideas but doesn't really plan, whereas Evie thinks things through and plans a little bit. Look they both have Starek their advantages. The Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. Aww. A gang known Poor as the kids. Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starek. You have my word. I'm my rooks. The it's rook. Right. I mean, he's pretty much the only right. rook at the moment. So I'm, I'm just saying. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. So I'm just gonna say, they have the best. I like they made a change to the controllers here for the Leap of Faith from uh, previous games and even games that followed this. And pretty much, yeah, just about every single other Assassin's Creed game I played, where you did a Leap of Faith, I'd find myself accidentally leaping to my death and, and not doing the Leap of Faith. And, uh, yeah, I, one of the things I like about this game is you d you don't do that. <laughs> they should have taken less, of, at least from that, I'm just saying. Sorry, go ahead. Staric gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. Why are we suddenly running? I, I've never I never understood that part of it. It's like suddenly running, then suddenly it's not running. Confound this city. No one <laughs> looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. <laughs> One of my favorite Only little in jokes right there. Those words are headed now. <laughs> well, I must get to work replacing them. Look up Should drood and Dickens and see if you can get that joke. If you don't get it already. Are hot. Ta -ta. What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is <laughs> nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Jacob is just... He's just funny. The things he says, on, how he says it. We need to lead them away from green. Crash into from. things. Swerve! Okay. Sorry. See, every time I look in a different direction, I end up running into things in, in games. <laughs> because carriages can obviously do that. I have to go back around. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty much driving on the uh, sidewalk. Because... There's a feat you can get. Or a trophy you can get that I have yet to get, even though I played this for quite a while. Huh. Okay. Sorry. There's a trophy you can get where... Um, if you destroy enough things with the carriage, like that lamppost, then... Then you get a trophy, basically. You have to destroy, like, 5,000 of them, though, so... It'll be a while before I get there. Anyway. 
Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage around and go find him. This is where you want to charge. So, yeah, there's a couple of in-jokes right up ahead. You are. First off, Curio Shop. Hint, hint. Oh! Let's, come on, come on. And let's exit. Here's the uh, Curio Shop, which is a reference to Charles sit. Dickens' story. More than that. Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. <laughs> you are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Staric never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Template targets you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. So yeah, that pretty much just introduced you to the um, missions. Uh, the uh, ah, what are they called? Area missions that you do to uh, conquer an area. Anyway. I did arrive before Evie, which I'm pretty sure she stopped and let me w let me win. I'm I'm gonna be fair on that one. Anyway, that's a uh, yep, that's three A. Like and subscribe if you like it, and uh, yep, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.